Check out my new fig trees, guys. We actually have some new trees that are air layers. I made copies of my own trees by very simply wrapping some soil around the branch that was wet, filled it up in the sandwich bag, and then made a slit through the center, wrapped that around, tied it over here, and then over five weeks, five weeks later, we now have some really nice root development here, and these trees are ready to be on, to be on their own away from the mother tree. Um, all the, the only thing left to do at this point is to actually remove some of these lower leaves to help them adjust to being on their own roots away from the mother. And uh, we'll put them in a shady location. We'll give them some water. We'll put them into these larger pots here. These are one gallon size pots. And then from this, once they root out over the next couple weeks, we can do anything we want. We can plant them in the ground, plant them in a container or ship them across the country. It's really that simple. So thank you guys. All right, everybody, this is Ross the Fig Boss. I have a very exciting video for you guys today because we are taking some of the air layers that we put on only five weeks ago. We have removed some of them. They've rooted out really nicely, and we're now putting them into one gallon size pots to actually root out into this size so that they can be shipped, planted in the ground, or then planted into a container. Um, in this whole process, I've done videos on this in the past. Uh, it's called the sandwich bag method. We talked about this recently. Let me cut to that now. All right, you guys, this is Ross the Fig Boss. Today, we're just going to do some air layering. Um, essentially, what we're doing is the sandwich bag method. Hopefully, you guys saw that particular video where we cut open the uh, sandwich bag. We fill it with soil. We Ziploc the top, cut it open, and then... Very simply, I'll just show you how this works. Take off some of the leaves here. Slip this over the branch. Get that in there nice and snug. Squeeze it around the uh, branch to get the air layer in position. And then I'm gonna take something here to tie it around the air layer. So that it doesn't go anywhere. We need to make sure that this air layer stays in place throughout the next two months, which is the duration of the rooting process here. So if this thing moves around and, and it forms roots and then it moves around, well then the roots are gonna break off and you're gonna have just a terrible air layer. So you're gonna have a terrible time. I mean, probably at that point too, your life is just in shambles, but um, you know, that's why I'm here for you guys. So that was that whole process there, guys. Um, pretty simple. I hope you guys enjoyed some of that, uh, <laughs> some of that little talk that we had um, in addition to the actual method itself. But today we're really is all about just getting this air layer adjusted to the conditions here. And then eventually getting some root formation into these one gallon size containers. So to continue that process that was happening while the mother tree this was still attached to the mother tree the problem now is that these trees are going to go through a period of shock um, because now they're severed from the mother tree they do have a good root mass but they really need to adjust now to be on their own feet it's like letting your 18 year old go um, when they graduate high school and letting them be on their own uh, it's kind of like that there's an adjustment period that needs to happen so some of the things that we're, we're doing here is eventually we're gonna put them in the shade and we're even gonna remove some of these leaves. The first step though is to get this bag off. So with the sandwich bag method, assuming you're using this, it's very simple. I just came over here, snipped off the, um, the tree tube that I like to use. It's called TE Binding Tube from AM Leo. And then all we do is make a cut right here it goes all the way through the center. And then now this comes off rather easily. I am gonna remove this leaf because this is just gonna be buried in soil anyway. And then we very carefully try to take off this plastic because it's, it's really crucial just to not have any transplant shock at this point. So we're, as I said, they're already going through a shock period. They're already not liking what is happening to them. 
Um, so if we are gonna make this in any way worse, it's not a good idea. Um, one of the tips that I could recommend for when to remove these things is based on how many roots you see. But also when you see the browning here of the roots, this means the roots are hardening off. If they were all white and um, not really a yellowish or brownish color yet, that means they're a bit delicate and they're not hardened off. And it may be in your best interest to wait until you see that browning or that hardening process happening. Once you see that hardening process, you know that the tree is going to be able to stand on its own uh, without the mother, without being connected to the mother tree. So again, there's just me removing that or making the cuts I need and then being very careful about removing this. Um, I find as well, uh, if the soil is dry, this is a bit easier. So one of the other determinations I make about when I should remove these air layers is actually if the soil is on the drier side. Uh, typically two or three, maybe even four months, depending on how long these air layers are on, they'll have a drier soil. Uh, but once we get this out of here, we're just simply going to fill up a container here. This is a one gallon size pot. You could go obviously a little bit larger, but I think it's just better, um, easier to maintain with a one gallon. I like these tree pots uh, because it fits the sandwich bag perfectly. And then all we have to do is just fill this in with soil around it. Um, it's really critical that once we put this in here, we keep shaking the pot and getting the soil around the roots really well. We want great contact and we even wanna push the soil a bit down. I am gonna remove the lower leaves just so that they're out of the way. Um, we need to remove some of these leaves anyway, but around the edges here, it'll make it easier to push the soil down into the pot so that there's good contact pretty much all the way around this, this, uh, this air layer that existed. And with that good contact, again, tamping this down, this will give our tree the, the best success, getting the most moisture actually as well. And then now we're done with that. I'm gonna put the tag in here. This is in the Ruchiola de Elba air layer. You could also stake it at this point. I'm just gonna let them be. And then what I'm gonna do actually is come over here to a section of the yard that gets almost no light. Um, this is in total shade. There's a little bit in the afternoon that hits these trees, but it's all mostly indirect. And you can see I have some cuttings and different things rooting over here, some of which uh, has died, but you know, it is what it is. And then we're just gonna place that in this bin. Um, I will come in here probably, actually I should, believe it or not, probably water these before I put them in these bins because these are the trees I typically am very careful about over watering these. But I'll water this in really well and then put it here in almost total shade. And then now over the next couple days and especially in the next four hours, I need to evaluate this tree. Uh, is the tree starting to droop its leaves? Are the leaves starting to become soft and flimsy um, they don't have that toughness feel to them. If that's the case, we need to start removing more lower leaves. And eventually the tree will perk back up. It'll get the water that it needs and um, it'll be fine. Over the next couple days, it'll adjust. And then in the next couple weeks, it'll start growing again. Roots and, the, uh, and new leaves and you'll basically have yourself a seamless transition. That's really what we want. Sometimes it's not obviously possible depending on how strongly rooted our air layer is. But uh, again, that's really the whole process here. But thank you guys here for watching this. Hit please hit that subscribe button. Check out the other videos if you haven't we've done on air layering. Um, and then check out our blog, figboss.com. There's so much information there. And I even created a blog post there about some really good information on air layering that goes into really 
uh, all the little details. So we'll talk to you guys soon, all right? Thank you so much. Take care.